Hi everybody, welcome back to Toby's Nature Club. We've got another rainy day and here we are on a doggy walk. And what are we going to do today, Hobie? Uh, make a reindeer. We're going to try and make a reindeer. We're going to find some wood from a fallen tree and we're going to go home and make a lovely Christmas decoration of a reindeer, aren't we, Hobie? Yeah. So come on, let's go on an adventure. So we've found some, a fallen tree. What tree is this, Toby? Do you remember? A fallen oak tree. Yeah, it's a fallen oak tree. The strongest tree in the wood. So we're going to cut some pieces up. We're going to do about this size. <laughs> Nearly there, Hobie. <gasps> Got it! <laughs> his body we've done his body now we just got to do his head haven't we and we cut the tree try and avoid the knots in the wood as much as you can so i'm going to make it slightly bigger than i wanted because there's a big knot there which is where the branches are coming out been coming out of the tree Ooh. yay oh. and i promise you it's worth it in the end so the reason we're cutting our wood now is because we want to give it some time to dry out and all i do is leave these on the radiator for a day or a night just for them to dry out and then they're easier to use when it comes to making our reindeer. So should we go back home and make our reindeer? Yeah. Come on then. So we've been to the woods and we've collected our pieces of wood for our reindeer, haven't we Hobie? Yeah. This is our smaller piece, this is our head, this is going to be our head of our Rudolph. And what we need to do is to cut it into half. But we made a little bit of a mistake, didn't we Hobes? Yeah. Where, where did we get this wood from? Uh... Silver bird. No, the other one. Oh, yeah, oak tree. An oak tree. And why is that not a great thing to do? Because it's really strong. It's really strong, isn't it? Yeah. So we're struggling to saw it. We had to go at sawing it this morning. But if you haven't got an axe, then you can use a saw. It will just take a bit of perseverance. But what we're going to do is use our axe hopes, aren't we? Yeah. So if the grown-up puts their axe into the piece of wood, we're going a long ways, longitudinal down the piece of log. So if the grown-up puts their axe in the log, we've already started, hope you had a practice, and you're going to bash it and bash it. Oh, did it in one. So there we go, we've got our two pieces of wood, but what we actually need now is another smaller part because what we're going to do this is going to be where Rudolph's eyes are so we need to cut this in half again so we've got our small piece of wood which is going to be our reindeer's ears so we need our axe again to chop these this little bit in half again hope please pick up your giant log I am so I'm just going to place the axe about halfway, it doesn't need to be completely accurate, but just try and get a balance so his ears aren't all wall lopsided. Yay, well done Hobes, good effort. Yeah. So now we've got our head, got our head and our ears. For our face. Do you know what sandpaper is? Mm. Feel that. Well, you're stuck to it. Your gloves oh. stuck to it. It's oh. really gritty, okay? And yeah. what it does, do you know what it does? It takes all the splinters exactly. away. Exactly, it takes all the rough edges away so we don't get any splinters. So, do you want to do that? You can do that. Ooh. So, you hold that bit in, or oh, hold, you hold it. Yeah, it's easier if you hold it. That's it. Our head 
head was slightly wonky when we cut it so we're going to line it up to make sure that it takes a nice flat straight line across when we stick him back on and Hobie is now going to mark on our head where he wants his antlers so he's just going to use a black marker pen he's going to do a spot or a cross or something can you see it wait to see it and there. Brilliant, well done. Okay, so now Hobie has his own little drill that he's going to use. I'm going to start him off and actually Hobie, you need to be a bit higher, so you kneel up onto there. Mind your hands out of the way. Mind your hands out of the way. If you don't have a child's hand drill, you can always just use an electric drill and they can help you, but this is kind of part of the fun of it, getting them involved. We've got our two holes. Do you think our antlers are going to be small enough to fit in there? That is the question. Mm. So Hobie's finished drilling his antler holes and he's going to stick his little antlers. Now, you can use any twigs for the antlers that have got nice shoots coming off of the ends. Or you could use doweling if you wanted to for the legs and the antlers. But what we've used is a hydrangea bush because it's nice and strong and dries really well. Can you get it in there? That's it, well done. There we go. So we've got our antlers, hooray! Now, Hobie, what we need to do is drill our holes for our legs. Okay, so I've marked some crosses for his front legs and his back legs, and I've tried to do it on the flat surface of the log. Logs usually have a flatter side. Okay, so that'll be our bottom of our reindeer. So once again, Hobie's gonna get his... Is it hard work? No. No, are you finding it easy? Yeah. Well, you must be super strong. Four leg holes, Toby, and this is going to be his. Yeah. Why is it so long? Well, because we're going to cut it up, aren't we? Into four. Oh. So you can. See, I tested to see that my leg stick fits in the hole, and then I'm just going to estimate how long we would like his leg. And we've also got to get four out of this branch. So now we need a hole also for our neck. So I lined it up in between his front legs. You can see, hopefully. And then he also needs a hole at the bottom of his head for his neck to attach to. So we're going to drill a hole there as well. Deeper than a mole hole. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stick the reindeer's head, we're nearly there now aren't we? Yeah. On top of his nose and he's going to put it on his head. Yucky. That's not yucky. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely and sloppy. Oh. Lovely and sloppy. Okay, and then do you want to put his head onto his neck? His head onto his neck? Yep. So you've got to find the hole underneath. Underneath. Oh, Twist it in as far as you can. Oh, I can't. There we go. Oh. Is that in? Yeah, and then we can put him into his body. So you want to make sure it's nice and secure in there, so he's balanced. Deep, 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 deep. Right, do you want to do his eyes? Yeah. Yeah, the fun bit. And his what? What else does he need, Rudolph? Uh, his shiny nose. Oh, you can get a shiny nose. Would you like to get the shiny nose? Or should I get it out because you've got gloves on? Oh, yeah. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? Yeah. My nose. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Jing, jing. Had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would surely say, oh, It glows! Put some glue on the end. There you go. And then you're going to put it on the end of his nose. Right here. Oh. Perfect. Right, and now he needs some eyes. Do you want to find him some super sized eyes? Make sure they're equal, it's either side of his nose. Hey, 
<laughs> He's a cool reindeer. Hey, moment of truth, Hobie. What? Is he going to stand up? Okay. Go on then, you try. Gently with him. Don't put him down the crack of the table. Yay! Yay! Well done. So and if you like, you could tie a ribbon around his neck and make him look even more Christmassy. I noticed somebody has drawn a smiley face on my Rudolph. <laughs> oh, our Rudolph. <laughs> Who did that then? Me. Cheeky chappy. One thing we would like to say, Hobie, isn't it, is thank you to everyone who subscribed this week. We had yeah. lots more subscribers. But if you would like to see more of Hobie's Nature Club videos, what does everyone need to do? Smash the bell. Smash the bell and subscribe or like our videos. And remember to... Have fun in nature. Remember to nurture. Bye. Bye. Happy Christmas.